A common view within the information visualization community is that 3D should be avoided for presenting abstract data sets such as networks. However, previous work has found that finding the shortest path between two nodes in a network is easier in 3D than in 2D. We conducted two studies of this task under new conditions to extend this previous work. Our studies compared 2D and 3D virtual layouts and also physical 3D printouts of networks. Our first study extends previous work by Ware and Mitchell. They found that a stereo projection of a 3D layout combined with motion cues allowed users to find shortest paths with fewer errors. In their work, edges were drawn as straight line segments and users had no control over their perspective view and could not interact with the network. It was unclear if 3D would retain its advantage under conditions closer to real-world interfaces. Our first study involved four conditions that are more relevant to virtual reality platforms. We allow users to control their point of view using the motion of their head and of their non-dominant hand. Our 2D layouts were computed with edge routing, which reduces occlusion of edges and nodes. Half of our conditions also allowed the user to interact with the network by moving a mouse with their dominant hand, highlighting edges that are incident on the node under the mouse cursor. We pre-registered our predictions and recruited 34 participants. In each trial, the system indicated two end nodes, and the user had to find the length of the shortest path between these nodes. The path length varied from one to five edges, and the user gave their answer through a radial menu that was popped up with their non-dominant hand. Our first study found that 3D resulted in a significantly lower error rate than 2D. Our second study investigated physical printouts of networks and extends previous work that has found that data physicalizations can result in better performance and are preferred by users when compared with virtual renderings. We 3D printed a network holder into which different networks could be slid. Users wore a HoloLens augmented reality headset that would indicate to the user the end nodes of the path. A trigger button allowed users to open a radial menu, like in our first study. We prototyped edge highlighting with the mouse, but our tracking was not precise enough to include this condition in the experiment. Our second study compared physical networks in augmented reality against 3D virtual networks in virtual reality. Our results found that users preferred the virtual reality condition, but we observed a variety of uses of fingers in the physical condition and our paper uses these observations to sketch out a new possible interaction technique for virtual networks.